Hi, I'm a, a young American boy, and a, you're a young American girl, and it's a young American Saturday night. I just got paid, jump back in the alley and all that, and uh, um, um, uh, you're pretty heavy, and I want to ask you uh, a question. Do you do the evil things I've heard about at school? Do you do the naughty things I've heard about at the beach? Do you do the kind of things they do in motion picture theaters where old men go to reach down into brown bags and pull up funny things that look like red tigers in the night? Anybody who listens to this album must know I'm as pure as driven snow. Go, go. And don't you wish you could sing so free And be thin like me in all this fantasy And anyone out there who might be a girl or a woman A teenage woman, a teenage woman Teenage woman, a teenage woman, a teenage woman Yeah! And he had two million selling albums, too. <laughs> and if you're a teenage woman, and you want a teenage man, all you have to do is just look on the label, send me a picture, send me the type of person you are on a verbalization level in writing, and if you're heavy, I'll call you. Never laugh when the hearse goes by, for you may be the next to die. First they wrap you in a bloody sheet and sling you down a pouch of sea. All goes well for about a week, and then the casket begins to leave. The worms call in, the worms call out, the worms play pinochle on your snout. Little green bugs of eyes of red Go through your liver and out your head Your eyes sink in, your teeth fall out The icy tickle on your spine makes you want to scream and shout Your stomach turns into a moldy green And a booze comes out like a whipping cream And me without a spoon Here comes the hearse If you skimp and slave, a fortune to save You'll lose it all when you go to the grave For life for a thing that money could buy The rich would live and the poor would die
Responsibility only to oneself. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of pleasure. The new Declaration of Independence for the teenager around the world. Then when it starts to fade, the old world returns to what it was. Come over to a similar apartment in the village. Smoke a joint, burn a little grass. Pot party, roach party. Mainliner, skin pop. Shoot some crystal. The language of the narcotic and marijuana user. The language of a large and ever-increasing number of teenagers. Starting in high school on benzodrine and dexedrine pep pills, it is not long before many soon graduate to marijuana the teething biscuits to a whole generation of adolescent psyche. And if marijuana is the appetizer, the advent of the space age technology has provided the main course. Lysergic acid diethylamide, LSD, the crazy acid. To use it is to take a trip, a trip in the world of mystique, religion and self-knowledge. For others, it is a trip to the emergency ward of the nearest psychiatric hospital. For some, it accentuates the beat. For some, it quickens sexual desire. For some, it is the release of sexual inhibitions. But whatever it is, teenagers are going for it. A drug that can be made in the kitchen sink is hard to stop. And may be the forerunner of a new drug society out of some science fiction writer's imagination. Will drugs pave the road to destruction for the now generation?
Ladies and gentlemen, this is your roving reporter. We're standing just outside the Bat Cave now, and we're going to try to get an interview with the fabulous Batman. Uh, here he comes now. We'll try and flag him down. Say, hold it there. Hold it, Batman. Uh, could you hold it a second? Uh, you'll have to back up a little bit, Batman. Uh, that might won't preach exactly. Uh, I wonder if you could say a few words to our many listeners out there in Batland. Uh, just speak right into the bat mic here. Hi. Hi out there. Uh, say, Batman, uh, where were you going in uh, such a hurry? Well, just on the way out to fight a little crime and corruption, Chet. Boy, this bat car you're driving sure is a jewel. Uh, uh, how many horsepower does it have? I presume you're speaking of bat power. Uh, sorry about that, Chief. Uh, how many bat power would you say it has? Uh, approximately 4,000. That's that's a little hard to believe there, Batman. Would you believe 135 with three deuces? Well, I don't know, but that sounds reasonable. Well, uh, good night, Chet. I've got to be on the way to fight a little crime and corruption now. Well, folks, there you've heard it. A fabulous interview with the fabulous Batman. And there he goes off in a blaze of glory to fight a crime. Uh, 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 say, look out, Batman. Watch out for that trap. Sorry about that, listeners. Yeah, we dig Batman. Yeah, we dig Batman. He's an our hero. 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 Yeah, he come now. There he go. Oh, 
a wide ocean just to get to you Cause I'm a jungle superman The rest of animals are afraid of me. Raise up in a dead lion, oh my mama lion. I ain't a wild rat and I'm feeling just fine. Pick up a sheep gorilla, tuck her under one arm. Ooh, me, daddy, where you going on a farm? Jungle Superman. Jungle Superman. Jungle Superman, and I live in a tree. Bodies and the bravest. They all are dear to me. It's a flop. It's a flop. It's a flop. It's a flop.
here is a failure to communicate. No. 
Prostitution, the world's oldest profession, has now become a dangerous kick for the teenager. Maybe I'm making a mistake, but I don't think so. I'm hurting no one but myself. If life is to be lived and freedom to be enjoyed, that's for me. I'm young. I want to enjoy life while I can. This young girl poses as a student to avoid detection. Yet her one fear is getting caught by the police. Though she lives at home, she is not happy since her family found out what she is doing. She knows she has to either give it up or leave home. A big decision for a young girl. If loneliness drives some girls to prostitution, it drives some men in another direction. The history of homosexuality is as long as the history of man. From the glory that once was Greece to the decadence that destroyed Rome, homosexuality has been both despised and idolized. Alexander the Great, Julius Caesar, Frederick the Great, Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo are but some of the names that any homosexual will point to as examples of virility and a defense of his way of life. Though nothing new, homosexuality is having an upsurge since the war. Whether it is an actual increase or merely an increased public acceptance is a point to be argued. The Mattachine Society, an organization for homosexuals, claims that one male out of six is homosexual. Homosexuals no longer hide in shadows, giving secret signals of recognition to each other. But rather they have joined together into groups or clubs in an attempt to seek freedom 
and acceptability for their type of sexual inclination. They can be found in all walks of life and on any street in this lonely world, forever searching for whatever it is that drives them on.
smart but can be easily fooled with good calling and the proper calls. The calls used in this recording are Herder's world famous regular pitch calls and Herder's world famous high pitch call. The call is held between the thumb and the four fingers of either hand even while shooting. The mouthpiece is held lightly up against your teeth with the lips closed above it. You will never get a crow if you just blow air through your call like this. <coughs> Growl as you blow it. Use your stomach muscles as he bellows to force the sound through your vocal cords and into the call. Your growl will vocally sound like this. <coughs> Through your call, it will sound like this. Ah! Low hum produced by growling through your call will be audible on this recording, but not to the crows. There are five calls essential to good results. First is the come here call, which is used to attract the attention of distant crows. It is a call of a crow in distress. Cup your hands like a megaphone around the call so that the tones will carry out well. Ah! 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 After the crows have turned and are coming to your blind, switch to the second essential call, the recognition call. Make it heavy with a pleading accent. You are imitating a crow locating an owl or in distress and plenty peeved. This call or the fighting call or the two mixed will bring the crows in all the way. The third essential call is the fighting call. Make it sound tough and chesty. <coughs> Learn to mix a little of the comeback call with the fighting call. This makes the calling still more effective. When crows are within 80 yards and until you shoot at them, muffle your call by placing your most convenient finger into the muzzle. Make the sound of your call teasing and hard to locate by placing both hands like a megaphone around the call and using one hand in a fanning action over the end of the barrel. The fourth essential call is the comeback call. It is used mixed with the recognition call and the fighting call on incoming crows. Its most important purpose is to bring back crows you have shot at. Make them think the pals they left behind really need help. Crows can be brought back repeatedly by the use of this comeback call. As they turn and come back, switch to the fighting call. Bring them into range with the fighting call mixed with a little of the comeback call. The sorrel call is for use in crows that have sighted dead birds in front of your blind. Fall right in with their calling. Keep it up until they're brought to your gun. The high pitch call produces this call very well. The regular pitch call will also do it. There are many days, however, when the high-pitched tones will produce best results. These are the days to give your calls in the high-pitched call. It is always a good idea to carry a pair of calls, one pitched high and one pitched regular for perfect results and in case one becomes broken in the field. The fifth and final essential call is the roost call. It is a deadly call. Use it when you are near roost or near a roost in the late evening and crows are coming in. The important secret in calling crows is to call continuously and create as much of a riotous bedlam as possible. Do not allow a second's pause in calling at any time or the crows will flare away. After you have shot, resume your calling with only a split second's pause. Two men calling at the same time is always better than one. Here is a crow hunting sequence. We are now well hidden in a blind near a roost. Glenn is clawing to a flock of birds 200 yards away downwind. Keep them up. They're turning. They're turning. Then they switch to the recognition call, mixed with the fighting call, and they're coming in fast, calling for a fight. 80 yards off and still coming. Glenn is muting his call. Gun's ready. They're 40 yards off, and Glenn is fanning that final teasing call. They're on us. Let them have it. Nice work. 
Three birds and one is after them with that comeback call. There. They're turning and pitching back. Now the fighting call. Mixed with a little comeback call. Here they are again. Two more down. They're interested but cautious. Both men and us are calling now. Closer. 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 Seven out of nine. Not bad. Wait. Watch that pair coming in from east. They have sighted our own decoy. This is it. That last one nearly got away. Here are a few non-essential calls, but nice to know. The fledgling cry will produce during the nesting season. Here is the love call. It occasionally brings response during the mating season. The command call. It is merely the voice of a flock leader getting his flock ready for movement. Like the greeting call, it is not used in crow hunting. The dying crow call is occasionally successful when given to incoming crows. The high ball crow call is sometimes advocated for attracting the attention of distant crows. Do not use this call. The warning call with its three sharp notes goes like this. Do not use this call under any circumstances as it will scare away any crow in the vicinity. With a little patience, you will learn to bring them in fighting mad every time, and when you do, good shooting.
we have an extra channel? Rick? Yeah. One more. Ch I'm ready. All right, I'm ready. It's growing. Right, yeah. hey, where's the music? Hey, why do I need some music? You know, I gotta get my train in the morning, and I gotta support my wives in alimony, and I can't. I can't. Oh, why don't everybody just shut up now? Hey, why don't everybody just shut up? Hey, huh? you're, you're really nice guys, you know that? Hey, buckets of water, buckets, buckets of pain. pain. So many buckets that I can't explain. Paint your house dirty gray. Water your flowers on a rainy day. Cause you know that I Dungarees are out of step. Turn to the left now, turn to the right. Crummy dungarees are out of sight. Cause you Boing, 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 boing. 